Okay, so this is the old analog twin projector dissolve system using an animatic convar control box, uh, which is an analog unit that controls the triac in each of two projectors so that you can crossfade the images from one projector to the other by dimming and brightening the projector bulbs in the projectors. And this is done by a hand controller uh, and there's uh, micro switches in the hand controller that will allow you to change slides or not depending upon how you want to present the images. So this is our first image which is it's in, in the Peak District in the UK a very beautiful area called Shining Cliff Woods and I have a second slide now which I will very slowly bring in <clears throat> and this is how this is how the transition works. The great thing about the slow dissolve is that you get magical third images as the transition takes place. And th this is the, the great beauty and the magic of, of the slide dissolve system or indeed even modern digital systems obviously will do the same thing. But this is what came first. And we'll just go back without changing slides we'll go back to the first image again and sorry about the loud fan noise it's just that the these projectors have got pretty heavy duty fans to cool the bulbs and here we're bringing in the first image again very slowly and again this is all done by hand control it's not on a timer back to the first image now I'm going to change the second image. So now that's changed with the lamp down to black. And now instead of the image we had before, it will bring up a different image into the mix. And I'm going to go through a dissolve sequence with changing alternate projectors, changing the slides and just dissolving back and forth, uh, blending the images as we go through the sequence. And I'm doing these dissolves really slowly. usually find that with with the slide dissolve systems used creatively artists will often go for slow dissolves to give the, the, the transient third image rather than just as a means of going through a set of images one after the other and, and instead of having a hard change you make it a dissolve this is a creative dissolve rather than just a means of changing between images uh, in a soft way. It's quite difficult with the manual approach to make the transition smooth. There's a bit, few wobbles here and there. I'm totally out of practice. I haven't done this for about 20 years and I've just got this system up and running. So you'll have to excuse the wobbles. It can be done, but it requires practice. Obviously, with a digital system where you set the timings between each slide, then it's done electronically and you will get smooth transitions. But, but once you've recorded them onto um, a recording system, you, when you play it back, of course, you can't change them. With the manual, you can, you're on the fly all the time. You can change at any time. or even stop halfway through a transition. Okay, so I'm going to stop there and I'll, there's no change. If you want to hold that third image and then 
slowly, slowly fade out the first image. And then we can go through another sequence of changes. I've only got a few slides in this sequence. If you want to fade out to black, then you'll have a blank black slide in, as the final image and you fade to black. In this case, I'm just going to switch off the dissolve unit and that will kill both projector bulbs instantly. So now this is the switch off and it's just off. So that was the Convar Animatic slide system and two Zeiss Icon projectors.